Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to my Robinhood portfolio. Today I just wanted to update you guys on my dividend ladder. This comes in response to a comment asking if it's actually possible to do a dividend ladder. I put out a few videos talking about putting together a dividend ladder. Also put a video together talking about the minimum number of stocks needed to essentially receive dividends every day of the year considering that there are a lot of stocks that pay out quarterly, but there's also a few stocks that pay out monthly as well. And having a, having a combination of quarterly stocks and monthly stocks, you can really put together a very nice dividend ladder, essentially receiving dividends most days of the week and most days of the month. So having uh, said all of that, the viewer wanted to know how my dividend ladder has been coming along. So I thought I would just kind of jump into the portfolio and show you guys what's been happening for June with regards to my dividend payments. And as you can see here, I really am averaging more than one dividend payment per day so far. And not every day is covered with a dividend payment, but there's a lot of days that have multiple dividend payments that are coming in. So having said all that, let's jump in and see exactly what's coming in here. You can see on June 1st, I have quite a few dividend payments coming in. Starting on the bottom there, Wells Fargo, 0.38. Ford Company, my largest holding in the portfolio of current. $341.85. Pfizer, one of my larger holdings as well, $28.80. Uh, PCM Fund, 0.16, cents. Intel, 0.82. And PIMCO Fund, 0.13, all happening on June 1st. So quite a few dividend payments starting off the month. On the second, we have one dividend payment coming in from Boeing, 142. Then there is a lag for a few days. Southern on the 6th for 174. Uh, then there's a, a span of a day that I do not have a dividend payment. Then it starts back up on the 8th, and I have two dividend payments on the 8th. Archer Daniels Midland, 0.64. Microsoft, 0.39. Uh, Eli Lilly and Company, $2.60. Exxon Mobil, $8.47. Uh, C&P Centerpoint Energy, $1.07. All on June 9th. June 10th, a few more dividend payments are coming in. Target, 0 0.60. IBM, 1.50. Then again, there's another day that's missed, but on the 12th, there's another dividend payment coming in from 3M, $2.35. 13th, Johnson & Johnson, $5.04. Another day is missed, but on the 15th, there are three dividends coming in, so it really makes up for some of the missed days here. Uh, Consolidated Edison, $3.45. International Paper, 0.93. Hershey's, $1.24. And then on the 16th, uh, 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 KHC, $3.60. So really you can see here I'm averaging more than one dividend per day. So a very nice dividend ladder so far. And as the uh, month continues here, more dividend payments will be coming in after June 16th. These are just the ones that are currently pending uh, and have been acknowledged in the portfolio so far. But there's quite a few that will be coming in as well. So really for June, I'll be averaging probably more than one dividend per day for the entire month. Again, some days are multiple dividends coming in. June 1st, you can see there, one, two, three, four, five, six dividends coming in. There are a few days that are missed, but really very consistent dividend payments coming in. And uh, you guys can do this as well with your portfolios. And the whole idea would be to start off sort of low here. You can see a lot of these companies, like for example, WFC, Wells Fargo, there's only 38 cents coming in. Uh, Intel only 82 cents coming in but as you put more money into your portfolio as you dollar cost average value cost average moving forward each of these dividend payments will be a little bit greater uh, every month and over a few years these will be getting to the point where you can really just make a living off your dividend payments as well as the uh, capital gain on your stocks as well so kind of a twofold way of making money on the stock market you can collect the dividend payments that's why I put together a very nice portfolio of high dividend payments blue chip companies that uh, will be a, be around forever you can essentially uh, buy some of these stocks and really don't even look at them for many many months even years uh, just because they're such solid companies and in the interim you'll be receiving those dividends and at a later date if you need the uh, the cash back into your account you can sell those off for a nice capital gain long-term capital gain taking advantage of the uh, reduced tax rates as well as for dividends as well if you hold a stock for a long period of time I just went over how to qualify for uh, reduced taxation with regards to dividends on my last video uh, you can also receive a very good payment from your dividends as well so you get long-term capital gains you get qualified dividends both of those have 
very, very good tax rates. And as you put together the portfolio every day or every few days, you'll be essentially getting a dividend payment in your account. And like I said, for my portfolio so far in June, I'll be averaging more than one dividend payment for every day of June. So that's what I'm doing with my portfolio. I'm also doing a little bit of day and swing training, as you guys know, on the side. A lot of uh, swing trades with Ford and Portola, but also holding those longer term as well. So yeah, just wanted to quickly talk about that in response to a viewer asking how the dividend ladder has been going. So it's been going very well. And I'm continuing to add to the portfolio. I've taken a look at a few more stocks that I think I'm going to be buying on the next dip. I really am anticipating a, a correction in the stock market at some point in the next few months here. So saving up a little bit of capital, using a lot of that capital just to do some day and swing trades. But as soon as there's a little bit of a trend down in the market, there's a correction in the market, I'm going to be buying, I think, about 10 to 15 addi additional stock for the portfolio. I'll do a, a video about that maybe in a week or so, uh, what stocks I'm currently looking at to add. And there's also a lot of stocks I'm looking to add to positions as well. So if they trend down a bit, if they uh, come back with a little bit of a stock market correction, I'm going to definitely be adding to those. And there's already been a few stocks I've added some capital to. Pfizer, for example, I've added some capital to. Ford, I've added some capital to. Uh, ORI have added some capital too. So there's a number of companies that I'm dollar and value cost averaging currently. Uh, I'll put a video out, out about that as well, some of my major changes in the portfolio. But the dividend ladder has been going very good so far, still adding to the portfolio. Like I said, there's about 15 stocks I'm going to be adding on the next correction in the stock market. But otherwise, uh, let me know what you guys are doing with your portfolios. If you're doing something similar to mine, doing a backbone of high dividend, blue chip, large cap companies, and then also doing some day and swing trading on the side. That's really what my portfolio is all about. Uh, day and swing trading is not the predominant uh, way of uh, earning a return in my portfolio. It's more of long-term buy and hold strategy, but I like to have a little bit of fun as well. So that's why I've been doing a lot of day and swing trades with Ford, with Portola, with a few other stocks. Done a little bit of penny stock trading as well, but uh, I really don't like to do that uh, to a considerable degree. I like to do more of swing trades with blue chip companies. But again, let me know what you guys are doing with your portfolios. And kind of with that, I'll end the video. As always, if you guys enjoy my videos, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. If you guys have any good video ideas, let me know. Still getting to a lot of your guys' ideas and trying to put those videos out. This was a viewer suggested video. So I uh, just wanted to do update the list. And uh, yeah, kind of with that, I'll end the video. And we'll see you guys next time.